Hey everyone, it's Camp and Cass from Smith RV in Casper, Wyoming. Hey, I want to walk you through today a 2023 Puma 26 RVSS. So we're super excited to have Puma back um, at, at our lot. We have sold Pumas from 2014 to 2019 and super excited to have them back with us. Uh, Palomino RV does a super good job with this product line. So. If you're looking for maybe a couple's coach of some fashion, uh, a couple people, small family um, with a larger bathroom, uh, this might be one to consider. So lengthwise, we're talking 29 feet on this. Uh, so pretty manageable size. But let's walk through this thing, see what you guys think. So down below here, we have a LP Quick Connect uh, here so we can hook up uh, the grill that this comes with. We have power sliding stabilizer jacks on this unit, so you're not gonna be cranking away on this. So I think a lot of people really, really like that. And once that hits the ground, you guys are gonna see this thing lift just a little bit. So those are actually do a pretty nice job. So up top here, we have a uh, outside shower, black tank flush on here so you're not going to be dragging the hose up in here to get that tank cleaned out nice easily accessible we take all of our pumas with the west coast package and that gives us an extended season protection uh, residential insulation and we got heated uh, holding tank pads on all the tanks got a nice little assist handle we have solid steps by Moride on here and then coming over here we do have a Greystone grill uh, and that will connect to the uh, trailer for, for propane and a little uh, 110 fridge, which you can go ahead and throw a block of dry ice in that. It'll work uh, just as well uh, off the grid, not hooked to power. Outside refrigerator bench, we've got a range vent here, suburban furnace exhaust. We have a suburban six gallon water heater on that. That's a gas electric. Got outside speakers and uh, they do glow in the dark. It's kind of nice. And we have an LED light strip up on the unit. I love them when they put them next to the unit so then you can have that on while the awning's in. Typically here in Wyoming, the wind's blowing too much. We never have these things out. So on this awning, this is an adjustable pitch awning on here as well. So you can really crank that thing down and help adjust for uh, shade, water runoff, etc. All right, let's take a look in the pass-through. So it is not lighted. However, you know, if you do like lights in them, you can get those little battery powered LEDs and it might be good to put up in there, but it's nicely finished, uh, pretty wide. I think you could get quite a bit of stuff in there. All right, let's come around the front. If you've got some diamond uh, guard on the bottom here, they'll protect it from the gravel. Two 30 pound propane tanks, and we do got a power tum jack. So, a lot of manufacturers have been going to this, but Puma has two. This is a powder coated frame on this, so you're not going to see it rusting as bad. They also inset the battery rack, which is nice, so we can cradle nicely two uh, deep cycle batteries in there. All right, let's check out the utility side of this coach. So, the other side of our pass through. They're utilizing the rack and pinion slide system on here. It's one of the most reliable slide systems uh, out there. All right, let's take a quick look at the underbelly. Let's see how it looks. Nice, clean, pretty smooth. Um, you look under these sometimes and they're really super, super wavy. This, uh, this actually looks pretty good. All right, let's go towards the back here. We're gonna have a little storage underneath our booth here. Let's pop this thing open real quick. Take a look, see how much storage is in. So this is gonna be a 751 key, which is pretty common. You know, it's not very wide, but it's super deep. So I think that's, I think that's pretty good. The tinted, tinted glass on here as well. And then back, we have our dumps. We have our gray, gray handle for the gray water, black for the black um, here. So, and then we got our city water connection there. Coming around the back side here, um, I think this is actually a very good setup. They actually have a flip down rack 
uh, on here. So you can, you know, maybe put a generator, maybe some coolers, firewood, etc. So and then this will flip up in place while you're not using it. You've got a spare tire here as well. We do have a grill uh, swing out bracket on here. This will come with that and it will hook to the propane as well. Uh, it's prepped and ready for a backup camera. So in the event you want to see what's going on back here, it is ready to go. So got a roof ladder and uh, let's go up top and check out the roof real quick. All right, here we are rooftop on the 2023 Puma 26 RBS. So we love taking uh, most of our units with solar panels. This is a 190 watt solar panel and there'll be a 30 amp controller on the inside so we could add to this if needs be. We have a 13.5 BTU GE air conditioner. GE has got into the game recently for RV air conditioners, so it's a good brand. We got several roof vents, one in the bathroom, the kitchen, and then the bedroom as well. So the one in the bathroom and the bedroom both have uh, large fan vents on them, move a ton of air. So, all right guys, let's go inside and check out what we got going on in there. All right guys, let's check out the inside of this Puma. Uh, for starters, I wanna show you this massive closet we got going on in here. So we got a couple shelves for storage. You could use that as pantry stuff. And then we got some nice hanging space here. And it's lighted. All right, let's check out the bathroom while we're back here. And so this is one of the best features I think on this. It's a very sizable bathroom. So we have a, it's plastic, Dometic foot flush toilet. Uh, sink over here, a little storage down below. Nice little built-in medicine cabinet. We have soap and toothpaste holders up here, and we have a uh, auto-sensing uh, light there that will turn on when you come in, which is nice. And then this linen is actually super sizable, so quite a few shelves there in space for storage. And I've gone ahead and done a uh, toilet paper holder already on here. A little towel hook there. And the shower is actually super roomy. So, and we got good height. So my head is uh, up into the skylight just a little bit. I am six foot three and I got the cowboy boots on today. So that does give me a little extra, but still plenty of room to work in here. A little built-in seat in case I get tired while I'm showering. And pretty standard faucet, nothing uh, nothing too crazy there. But glass doors are nice, trifold doors that will keep the water inside the shower. And so we have taken this with theater seating. So we kick these out, kick back, and enjoy. So another great feature of this trailer uh, is the entertainment center and the TV is directly across uh, from the theater seating. So you're not going to be cranking your head or anything like that on this one. So got a nice little fire place down below there. I'll put out about 5,000 BTUs of uh, heat as well. So we've got a sound bar stereo system here as well. Uh, booth dinette. So this will gain you two additional sleeping spots. And we do have storage below, which one of those is this one's accessible from the outside as well. So coming over here, we have a uh, gas electric refrigerator. Uh, this is an eight cubic foot, so definitely a good size. And they have optioned this with the Greystone, which we don't see a whole lot of, but it's a super good brand of oven and range. So Greystone, they're a little bit bigger than the average oven, but like the Furion, Still have the little uh, LED lights on them on board here, which is nice. And you can turn those on and off. And then we got three burners, the flip up cover. Let's see if this one, yeah, this one comes off just nice and easy like uh, the Furion. So you can clean below. Cool. So, and then over the sink, so we have a single basin. 
and this cutting block is actually pretty pretty nice thick uh nicer than most of them that we see got a stainless steel drying rack on this side i kind of like the big uh, single basin you can get bigger pots and pans in there with a little more of an ease okay let's uh let's go check out the bedroom so coming in the bedroom we do have a nice sliding wood door here so you can kind of get a little privacy there. Got a queen, walk around queen bed. And we got struts to go to our under bed storage. Uh, that's our grill for the uh, bumper mount, uh, the back. Got a power cord, a few other things in there. So we have roller shades. So these will do a great job at cutting the light out um, of this so you can catch a few more Zs. And then we got great storage for stuff on each side, maybe setting a glass of water, your cell phone, stuff on each side of the trailer. And on that side, we have two USBs, one tens on both sides. And these are individually uh, operated uh, reading lights. So little wardrobes on each side, little storage up top. And like I mentioned, we got fantastic fans in the bedroom. And bathroom so those things move a ton of air so hopefully you guys have enjoyed walking through the 2023 puma um, if you have any questions comments please uh, hit it down below if you like the video hit the like button and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos coming at you and as always i always appreciate it and you guys have an awesome day thank you